All right, this is my beautiful son, Ricky. Say hello. Hello. And this is Lynn. <laughs> this is my work mascot, our St. Bernard, that we imported from Switzerland. Yeah, yeah, from a video from a long time ago. You probably this is, watched um, it. This is my baby. Comes to work with me. He's gonna, he's gonna go really well with the Hummer. Big dog, big truck. And this is a Hummer H2. Okay, babe, turn around. I want to ask you a couple questions. All right. All right, whose Hummer was this? Grandpa's. Yeah, and should we fix it up? Yes. Yeah, and we're gonna bring it to the mechanic, right? And have him take a look? Mm -hmm. All right, and then we'll, we'll see what we could do. Hi, everybody. Just wanted to give a quick intro. My name is Ricky. Um, so a lot of people that are going to be tuning into this video are, are going to be here for the Hummer. But I just wanted to introduce myself. This was my dad's Hummer. He bought it in, I believe, 2007 or could have been a little bit before. But it, this is a 2007 H2. Uh, he bought a new off the lot um, and had it for, you know, all these years and used it for work. So I'm about to show it to you. This is definitely a big project. Um, I believe it needs a new engine, so I'm doing this video, and then right after this, uh, I'm gonna get a tow to the mechanic, and they're gonna let me know what it really, really needs, uh, and is it salvageable? Like, is it really worth financially um, paying for it? So, we'll see. I didn't pay too much. This was my dad's. I remember when I was a little bit younger, sitting in a passenger, going to work with him. Um, this was his everything, his office, uh, He's, he's a home service so business, so he would run around on estimates and stuff, and, and I always thought it was such a cool truck, right? So when I had an opportunity to own a truck like this, like even though the condition's not great, it's, it'll be like a fun project, right? And it, you know, I hate to see him, like the dealers weren't offering him much. He went and got a new car. So once this engine went, which is I'm pretty sure what happened, um, I guess he had enough and he also retired working so you know um so i just i would like to uh keep the legacy going and i want to use it for work i have a trailer that i would love for uh to use this to pull and um and letter it because my dad had it lettered and it looked awesome a hummer looks beautiful on its own but when it's like lettered you know nice loud bright uh uh signs like vinyl um with the business name and stuff it should really look good. Uh, it looked, it worked great for him. People, you know, you could see him a mile away. Um, so I'm excited. It's been sitting here for a while. I bought it a while ago. Um, I, it, it's now time. Like I just need to, first of all, sit in my driveway, but I want to see like what the situation is with it. I've been kind of fighting with, should I fix it? Should I not fix it? Should I sell it? Um, but I think it's time to at least get, I spoke to a uh, local mechanic and he is at least going to give me a a true um, value. Like, is it worth it? You know what I mean? Like, yes, it needs an engine. This is how much it is. And by the way, it's expensive. I mean, to get like a really like top quality, like Jasper, which is a big name um, with, with a good warranty and the labor, forget about on these things. I mean, you're talking about, you know, 9,000 ish. So we'll see. But, you know. You know, these days with prices being so crazy, like how much is a new truck? Like, you know, 70,000, 80,000. So, you know, I didn't pay much for it. If I fix it up, like cosmetic stuff, I'm not so worried about, but like, obviously I need like a good engine. I need it to run properly. So, you know, I don't know, I love it. And I'm sure the people tuning in are gonna be Hummer people. So, you know, please comment, help me out. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, should I fix it? Should I not fix it? Um, Am I see? Is there anything that you see that I'm not seeing? Because again, I'm not really a mechanical kind of guy. Um, that's the stuff I pay for. It's just not in my, you know, it's just not in my wheelhouse. But I do like to play. Like it absolutely needs new rims. I'll show you. Let's just get into the video. Um, anyway, my name's Ricky. I'm a picker, so I basically buy and sell antiques, um, vintage furniture, household items. I buy out estates. We do estate sales. So. That's kind of what I do. So this will be like my advertising vehicle. Um, it'll help me pull. I have a couple trailers. Um, and you could go tune into some of my other videos to see kind of what I do. But anyway, let's let's get into it. All right, so here she is. 
the 2007 Hummer H2. Yes, here, here. Black. This is my son Ricky. He's going to be chiming in, helping us out, helping show you this Hummer. So, this needs a lot of work, like I explained in the intro. Let me start with what I see, then maybe you could help me out and let me know if there's anything you see. First of all, he had this truck lettered. So you're going to see a lot of this paint that kind of came off a little bit. But I'm going to get this lettered as well. So it's going to kind of go right over it. Let's see, like he had his name. They call him Rick. So that's on the door. Um, anyway, I'm going to point out, first of all, these rims. I, I hate these rims. They're, first of all, I just think they're too big. You know, back in the day, I'm not sure if this was an upgrade. When he bought this new... I feel like this was an upgrade because he's not the kind of guy that would go to a rim place to to get wheels you know like chrome wheels but these are 22s i mean super chunky tires i may change the wheels because the tires look okay but they're pretty big i kind of like i like a smaller wheel with bigger um bigger tires but we'll see anyway a little bit of rust underneath i mean we're in jersey you know not terrible so, all right, so missing the gas thing here. I've been looking this up. I know you could buy this piece. We got a crack here, all right, in the roof rack. Um, I did see they have some beautiful, like, Gobi racks that go across. In my business, I need as much room as possible, so, like, that could be in play in the future because I could stick stuff up there. Um, these look a little bit rusted, so... I mean, you know, that could be chained. Not a big deal. Um, let's see. Take you around the front. Daddy? So, he did get a, I believe it was an upgrade. It was a, a luxury package. And then a sport package. I'm not sure. I'm going to actually show you a picture of the sticker. Because I actually have the original sticker. And it's pretty cool. It's detailed of everything I, i'm pretty sure he got every option possible except for the color change i know in one of the hummer groups they were talking about there were color options all right so this is missing and i'm not sure where to get that i'm gonna have to look into that um so we have a chrome bumper guard and we have, a car. And we have your sister's car right that one's a lot cheaper all right so I'm gonna just kind of walk around, just let you take a good look. And this is kind of for myself, right? Because if I fix this, it'll be fun to look back. I know he did get into a little accident here. So I'm not sure how, it's not terrible. Again, it'll be lettered. So I'm gonna really cover this in vinyl. does have a moon roof sunroof so that's nice uh, hopefully I'm not going too fast a lot of missing paint here and this is my trailer one of my trailers so this could definitely pull it because I see it's already equipped with everything all right let me take you inside so like absolutely needs a detailing because my dad wasn't you know he <laughs> he actually used to always i'll say one thing my dad always got the best oil changes like the best of everything but i don't know it definitely needs a cleaning um so leather missing here right so like easy fix seat cover the back seats are actually really nice because i don't know not too many people sat back there and then that seat has a little tear i'll show you that when i work my way around yeah i mean you know just chevy like right G what is a gm just still you know cheap cheap interior I have a Chevy Silverado, so, you know, they just didn't make them that well. The steering wheel has a tear. 
I'll show you when I get there. He does have the navigation, I remember that. I think it's a disc or something, but I do always remember him having a navigation. And back then, that was like pretty cool, 2007. I believe it's a DVD. And I'm not sure, could that be upgraded? I'm pretty sure that could be upgraded. Oh, so this, I guess, what do you call this, a moon roof? That's pretty nice. That's sweet. Okay. Oh yeah, these t you know he had these TVs and I never I, I never remembered him working. I remember my half sister would sit here. He had a car seat here. She was basically raised back here. I used to sit in the front, and I I'm not sure if I ever remember these working, but these don't look too good. But again, that could be changed. And I guess this came with the upgrade from the factory. So we got some cup holders, that's cool. I mean, the seats are nice, like the leather. My, I don't have leather in my truck, so it's just, it's, it's comfy. Like even though his seat is kind of torn up, I guess it just molded to him, you know, how, how leather works. So it's, it's actually really comfy. So I guess radio. For the radio or maybe for the dvd player these are all gone all these caps they're missing on every single <laughs> these power outlets so yeah obviously needs to be clean okay the back seats are pretty nice though all right Hey baby, hello. Okay, so this, I did, I was watching a video and I seen somebody use fishing line, which actually makes a lot of sense. This is like thick le leather, so that could probably work. But it's nice, I heated seats. Again, I'm gonna show you the sticker, which kind of details everything. So it was a great package. Oh, this thing is broke. This is broke. I didn't show you from the other side, but I'm sure this happens a lot. Okay. So steering wheel. This is how much he drove this thing. I think it had over 200,000 miles, I believe. Here we go. Yep. I know he changed the transmission, but again, according to the mechanic where he towed it, when it stopped working, he needed a new engine. Now it won't turn on because it's just not getting any power, but when we did turn it on, it was pinging pretty bad. Again, I'm not a mechanical guy, but it was like really making some serious noise. So we'll confirm once my other mechanic sees it. Okay. Missing a button here. I mean, so many like small little things, right? Here, another, <laughs> just so many little, but like a little glue, right? I know the seal, yeah, see like once I came in here and there was a little like water here. So, I'm not sure. I guess the seals need to be looked at. But definitely the wheels. I mean, look at that. Look how pitted. Ugh. All right. So now I'm going to open this back. Hey, Rick, could you push that back, babe? Okay. Perfect. Good. Thank you. This is the back, which is really good. First of all, for you lint camp. for the dog, you, you could, can camp. You could camp back there, yeah, absolutely. Or in the front, either one. He had an extra seat. This has been sitting in his garage forever. 
So there was an extra seat here. Um, yeah, I mean, a lot of room. You know, again, my dad, in his business, he needed storage and room as well. So he used to put these seats down. And it's, I mean, it's quite a bit. I mean, you definitely, I mean. Want me to close you, in? I'm always ready to close and open. Okay. Not yet. Uh, for you Hummer owners, you definitely know that there's a lot of space here. So it's cool. I mean, I'll definitely be utilizing it. So yeah, it'll be like, you know, it's going to be scratched up and stuff because he used to haul a lot of stuff. But he never towed. He never towed with it. And I'm curious as well, like, does anybody tow with their Hummer H2? Because I'm definitely going to need to tow with this. More, It's going to be more of a local, you know, 10, 20 mile radius usually. So nothing crazy and nothing super heavy. This is a 12 foot aluminum trailer. Just recently got this baby, which is really nice. And the colors look black and black. And once this, once they're lettered, it's gonna look really good. So, okay, Rick. So that's that. That's 2007 Hummer H2 project. This was my dad's, the original owner. Watch your step in. And this will be my work vehicle, my estimate truck, my hauling truck, you know, it'll be everything. So, so let me know what you think. School? and to get you yeah that's right pick you up and drop you off at school so let me know what you think um and i appreciate any input all right i should probably show you the engine as well so here we are looks a little rusty a little oily oh yeah yeah again i'm no mechanic but you know doesn't look so great we shall see so I'm getting ready for AAA is coming we're gonna jump start it so this way we could get it into neutral then I requested a flatbed and it's not going too far oh. so that's that let me go around this way All right, off she goes. Wish, wish us luck. I wanted to add this original sticker. So this is the window sticker with the pricing for this Hummer, which is a 2007 Hummer H2 SUV. The problem is the words are coming in a little bit blurred. I'm no expert, I'm using a GoPro, but I will just add standard vehicle price so a little over 54,000 and then he paid my father paid total vehicle price 64,930 it's really blurry um so yeah that's a lot of money in 2007 right cuz he had he did upgrade luxury package and chrome appearance package so i don't know if you can see it the luxury package was 4500 and let me see what else the, the, the rear entertainment system dvd two headrest monitors with headphones 2000 ish navigation radio includes two free map updates 1700 ish so you know as always, I mean, my father, when he buys something, like, he goes all in. Like, the best, right? <clears throat> and he got his money's worth. It lasted. <laughs> um, he definitely used it well. So, anyway. Sorry. I, this text is just not very good. It's kind of blurry, but I just wanted to show what the original sticker, window sticker, looks like. So, that's pretty cool. <laughs> 